Okay, everybody, welcome back to Whippy Chicks Picks. And today we are going to look at vintage look crochet hats. Now, I hope you are prepared to go down a rabbit hole with me <laughs> because I love, love, love hats. And I really love this particular style of hats. And I just, I want to make all of them. It's always been a favorite style of mine. So we're just gonna take a deep dive right into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this first one which I love, love, love so very much. And I was so, so sad because there are no actual links for this pattern. When I clicked on it, it just takes me to another YouTuber who really just um, shows pictures of things that she likes. I am proud to say that when I send you pictures of things that I like, I do give you links uh, as well. So, uh, I do love this hat though, and um, I love the design on it. I love the band. I love the little flowers. Um, I love it so much that I think I'm going to try to recreate it. So I'll keep you posted on how that goes but I just love this hat <laughs> I really do it's just so classy okay let's move on to our other hats ones that actually have designers <laughs> and patterns okay so this one um, this is like a Mod Podge of designers there's no one particular designer in this um, so we're just gonna go right ahead I, I love this one I almost think that it's really more of a boho hippie style but I could also see like this kind of being a flapper style with these long straps on the side it, just something about it I just love it I don't know <laughs> I don't know how, how else to describe it other than I just love it. So uh, this one, let's open it up. We're just going to open it up. Why not? Let's see here. Okay, so this is by Nancy Huber Creations, and you can purchase this pattern through Etsy for $5. And there are different pictures um, of the hat. So we'll just kind of scroll through them. So it looks like you, you just create this hat. I, I gotta say it really, um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the divine hat, the way these kind of spiral down. And then on the band, it looks like you just, you know, make these straps. It doesn't look very difficult. The difference between this and the divine hat, however, is they don't spiral. It looks like they just go straight down more like a spoke on a wheel. And if we look at the purple one, you can kind of see how they do just go just straight down rather than doing the, the spiral of the divine hat. But I really do love this look. She just looks so cool to me. She looks like she just walked out of a speakeasy, right? I love it. Okay, let's go back to Pinterest and see my other hats that I love. All right, the next hat here is the Bow Beanie, and this is by MelanieCom.com, made with Melody. So we're going to open that one up. Now, I did look at this before, and if you want the pattern for this hat from this website, you do need to sign up for an email. It does say that she she made a pattern for this hat and you can check it out here. But when you do click on this link, it's going to ask you to join her website so that you can always get, you know, emails from her. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I just didn't want to do it tonight. <laughs> so maybe another time I will do that just so that I can have the pattern and check that out. All right. Go back to Pinterest. Let's see what we've got. I love these hats, oh my gosh. Remember, I told you I'm saving my favorites for the very end, so. Okay, this one is really cute. This is by uh, Beatrice um, Designs, Beatrice Ryan Designs, excuse me, and it's called the Winter Tide Beanie. Um, I'm not sure, it says it's a free pattern, so let's just double check. So many of these patterns were on Etsy, so I just wanna be sure. Yep, it looks like this one's coming right from her website. So this is Beatrice Ryan's Designs, and I just love this winter tide beanie, and it is a free pattern. It's so elegant, isn't it, with this little 
this little pin here on the side and I love how it scrunches up so nice. It looks pretty simple really, doesn't it? Looks like a lot of uh, double crochets there. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Pinterest. Okay, this one, super, super cute. Love the the real nice contrast that we have between the gray and the black. Again, looks really, really simple. I love the little bow on the side, but not super um, difficult looking. So this is by Color My World Crochet. This is a, an Instagram, no, I'm sorry, not an Instagram. This is an Etsy. Um, this is an Etsy instant download for $5. And yeah, looks really simple to make. All right, moving on, moving forward. The last one in the random designers is this um, vintage cloche crochet hat. And I'm gonna open it up. It's, I believe it's by Beaded Wire, who has an Etsy site. So here we go. Let's take a look. And it looks like uh, she has um, this other cloche hat here and here. So these are both beaded wire. Here's a couple more beaded wires. Meaning, beaded wire meaning that's her name. <laughs> it's the name of the designer's uh, store. So we'll just kind of click through and uh, take a peek. So very cute. I love how that just goes down so far along the side on the ear. And it flips up on the other side with that cute curl in the brim. It looks like she sells a lot of different patterns, has some little deals going on there in her Etsy shop. But like I said, she's got some other really cute ones as well. I really like this green one. Let's open it up, just take a peek. I told you we were gonna go down the rabbit hole and I meant it. <laughs> I couldn't not click. Look how cute that is. I am in love with the cloche hats. I just want to make all of them. I wanna make all of them right now. <laughs> all right, all right, stay focused, Julie, stay focused. Let's go back to Pinterest. Okay, so those are all of like the random designers, like it's all different designers on that one. So now I'm going to go back and we're gonna look at this section. This is Lovecraft Crochet. So all three of these hats I found on Lovecraft Crochet and um, they're different designers, but they're all found on the same website. So we'll just open them up and take a peek. So I love this one. This one, um, the designer is Kalura H. And it's just really, really cute. I'm gonna open up the website just to see if, um, well, let me see if I can open up the website. Here we go. I just wanna see if there's other pictures that we can check out of the same hat. Maybe they have it from different angles. And I believe this is available for adults as well as children. Okay, yes, yeah, so here's a woman wearing the same hat. Now she's wearing it in black, and I'm not as crazy about it with the black. I like the, the beige, and look at this gray with the red buttons. It just gives it a really nice contrast. But something about this one and this one look a little different to me. And I, I want to say that it has to do with this band here. I'm not sure the gray one has the band. Yeah, it seems to be missing the band in the front. It really reminds me a lot of um, my Snow Day Beret pattern. But yeah, I think it's really cute. So that's the Zoe Beret by Kalura H. All right, let's take another look at the next one. Okay, so this hat, <clears throat> excuse me, this hat I really like a lot, but I'm not crazy about it in this color. If I were going to make this hat, I think I would have to use a different color yarn. 
I could see this looking really nice in um, gray or I don't know maybe a wine red color I still love it I just I'm not crazy about that that bright teal even a beige with maybe dark brown flowers would be really pretty to me I don't know let me know what you think in the in the comments below I do love it <laughs> I really like it a lot it looks pretty simple too Okay, our next hat. This is set, this one says Downton Abbey style cloche. This is another one that you can find on lovecraftcrochet.com. And let's take a look at this. This is by Caroline B. Let's just wait for it to download. Here we go. This is pretty. This is another one where I thought, you know, maybe not in purple. I don't know, the purple's not too bad though. It's it's a little more muted than that bright, bright teal. So I'm not really sure I would call this a vintage uh, cloche hat. I'm not really sure. It's just got kind of too big of a brim um, for, for m me to call it a cloche hat. I, I think if that were like folded up maybe and nice and tight against the face, maybe I would call it a, a cloche hat, but I don't know. I'm not sure about that. It's definitely cute, and I definitely like it a lot, though. Okay, let's move back. And that's going to do it for our Love Crafts section. So our next section is Stitch of Nature on Etsy. So I have two hats by Stitch of Nature on Etsy. Both of these hats, they use children models, but they also have it in adult sizes as well. So this green, I just love it, but green is my favorite color, so of course I would. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this hat. I love the ruffle on the side. I love the folded up brim. I love the green band. I love the flower. I love everything about this hat. I think it's so adorable. I want to wear it right now. <laughs> And I love that um, that she has the long hair with it because I have really long hair myself and I have worn my hair up in a bob, um, but I've been growing it for a while now and I want to be able to keep it long. So it's nice to see that you can get away with long hair with the cloche hats. They're really cute. Another nice thing about this pattern is, like I said, it does come in children's sizes and they also make it in doll size. So um, I know the American dolls are always really popular with the little girls. They're also really expensive. <laughs> but um, if you can make clothes for the dolls, that's, that's even better. So this is by Stitch of Nature. Okay, let's go to our other Stitch of Nature hat. Um, let's see here. And also, we might fall down a rabbit hole at Stitch of Nature because while I opened this one up, I noticed another hat that I probably could have put in this, uh, could have put this in my Pinterest board, this other hat. So, yeah, we'll look at that one in a minute because that's just too cute. <laughs> too cute. Okay, so this one just makes me think of raspberries. <laughs> this is the Rosedale Vintage Hat Pattern. Um, and it does have 18 inch doll size, baby size, up, right up to adult size. So we're gonna take a look at the different pictures. Now, I don't believe they show an adult wearing this hat in any of these pictures. Um, I think it's just a little girl. And I'm not sure but I have a feeling that this little girl might be the little girl of the model in the previous hat because <laughs> she has those same blonde, pretty hair. Doesn't it remind you of like raspberries though? It's so cute and I and so simple, right? It's just a simple beanie and then it's like using just regular, it looks like maybe half double crochet and then we're going into the bobble stitch here and just these little flowers, they look harder than they are. They really are not that hard to make. And look, her little doll has one that matches as well. So while we're on this Etsy site, I do want to open this up because this is this is a really cute little hat too. 
love this. And this also says adult sizes are available. I could see this with some sparkly yarn and it would just look so pretty. Oh, look at this. Look how they have this one embellished. That is beautiful. I love that. I don't know if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is adorable. Okay, sign me up for this one too. I need it. <laughs> I just love how that's pleated right there. Really, really adorable. And of course, they do have it in the doll size as well. So you can have your dolly with a matching hat, <laughs> which is very nice for the little girls. We all love that. Or did when we were little, and I have a feeling we still do. Okay, so that does it for that section, the Stitch of Nature section. Um, oh, look at this. I did save that hat. Look at that. So this hat is also sold on Annie's. So um, let's take a look. Yeah. So this uh, designer is Jenna Doherty. So she must sell her patterns also on um, Annie's craft store because I saved it under Annie's. So we won't bother to look at that one again. We just looked at it, but that's interesting to know. So she has it on two different places. Okay, these kiddos are just so cute. Laurie, how could you not love this? Look at these hats. Okay, this is Annie's Craft Store where you can get gajillions of patterns. You can definitely fall down a rabbit hole here. Um, this is obviously an electric download. These are the patterns. Let's take a look at the little guy first. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And here's little sweet miss. Equally adorable. Yeah, I definitely think this is that woman's daughter. <laughs> she just looks like her. And look, you can even get it for your doll. I love that. Super duper cute. They're not really close hats, but they're definitely vintage looking, right? Okay, next section is Crochet Mama NR1 on Etsy. And I have two hats by this designer. And this one is just classy, right? I just love this hat. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to take a peek at this one. It almost looks like straw, and I think that's just the color of the yarn that she used, but it's just elegant. I just love how there's this navy blue that weaves its way into the spirals, and I, I do want to get a, a side look at how those spirals are kind of formed. Let me just scroll through the pictures and see if we can get a full look on this hat. I love the rolled up brim. Yeah. And it carries through all the way around that, that stripe. I love this. Love this so much. Someone stole this woman's body. <laughs> Yeah, love it. Beautiful. Nice work. Nice work, Crochet Mama. All right, let's close this one out. Pull up Crochet Mama's other pattern. Okay, talking about Downton Abbey, this one makes me think of, um, oh goodness, what's her name? The middle sister. <laughs> All of a sudden, I've gone blank. I really like this hat, though. She looks like she just walked off a movie set with this hat. Yeah. 
Look at it on the little girl. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I have to say, I think I really like it in this darker blue, though. That is so pretty. Okay, so that one again is by Crochet Mama NR, and she's on Etsy. And remember, guys, all of the links are going to be right here. I'm going to just give you a link to my Pinterest board, and all you have to do is click on them. It's going to take you right where you want to go. Couldn't be easier. Okay, so now it's time for my new favorite designer, <laughs> Kelly Designs on Etsy. So these hats, oh, I'm in love with these hats. I keep trying to pick a favorite, and it's just not possible. So all of these are by the same designer, Kelly Designs on Etsy. All of the patterns I want to say are right around $5. So yeah, so this one's $4.50. But the more I looked, the more I kept finding ones I liked. I just couldn't stop looking. I love them. So this one is the banded beret with large flower. I don't think she really gives them like fancy names or anything like that. But I just love how it's so loose down here on the on the side. Really reminiscent of the flapper style. All right, let's go to our next one. This one is so cool. So this one, you can actually um, wear it three ways, which I thought was really, really creative of the designer. So I love this. I love how she embellishes it with these different items. So this one's like a buckle. But there's different ways you can wear this. So it looks almost like they're two separate pieces. So here it is with just the head band, which again is very flapper style. And then here it is with just the hat. And she's actually even got some felted flowers on the side. And then there it is with both pieces together. So there's three different ways you can wear this pattern. Adorable. Okay, let's take a look at our next hat. This is the brimmed crochet hat. Um, this one is a little bit more of a mesh look. So this, I, I, I would think this would whip up so fast just because it is, it looks like really big stitches and they're mesh stitches. So uh, just the crown part would not take long at all and then there's the brim and then there's this bow which like I said she really does a nice job with the different embellishments like I don't even know what this yarn that she uses is or if she just bought that separately but you can see how it's woven into the hat you see how it's woven into the mesh here so this is really nice for like a summer weight you know like it it's not so tightly woven that you would just be sweating. Love it. Love this hat. All right. Aren't you glad I didn't have 50? Usually I have 50. <laughs> We'd never get through. <laughs> okay, here's another Downton Abbey style one. At least they say it's Downton Abbey style. I have watched a lot of Downton Abbey, so I would have to agree that this is definitely the flapper style hat. And I love the colors in this one. This one's really fall-like if you used these colors. I love the embellishments. But I would also love this for like a Christmas style. Like you could do this in black and have like red flowers with silver trim. Yeah. Could definitely go many ways with this style. All right, let's take a look at our next one by Kaylee Designs, my new favorite designer. <laughs> Here is another, and this one I think is just stunning. Um, I love the pin, the accessory of the pin. 
and I love the the way the back of it has this v-neck yeah I just I love the accessories I don't know where she gets them but they're gorgeous so this is the other side and here let's look at it in a different color so this really looks almost summery doesn't it love it she's really knocking it right out of the park for me I, I'm loving her designs I have a feeling I'm going to be dropping some change at Kelly designs <laughs> okay this is the one that started it for me for Kelly designs look at that pin on the front I love this hat Every time you guys see me in a car chat from now on, I'm going to be wearing a cloche hat. I love hats anyway, so it's not a stretch for me to fall in love with these hats. But I've got to find these pins. I'm wondering if I could find stuff like this at my uh, local yarn store, which I haven't been able to visit in a while. It's kind of far for me. It's about 45 miles away. That's my local yarn store. <laughs> There's another one closer, but I like, I like the other one better. Okay, so this one I really love. Really, really love this one. Um, it's very like Art Deco to me, the design. And I love the big button. Like... Kelly, where are you coming up with these ideas? They're so awesome. I love them. So, so good. I like the back of that, too. I like how it pleats in the back. Really, really nice. Okay, we're coming close to the end here. We've only got a few left. Okay, so this next hat almost makes me think of fall leaves like you could these almost remind me of fall leaves I think it's so pretty I love this big button but let me open it up so we can see it closer up and we can see other angles again Cali designs okay yeah I just love these and they're so simple that's the thing right they're so simple but so beautiful and so elegant looking. I know I keep using that word elegant, but I can't think of a better word to describe it. So let's look at the back. See how it's gathered here in the back? I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I just love the colors that she chose too. Yeah, most of her hats, I they, it doesn't seem like she chooses like crazy colors they're a little more muted and I like that as well which is unusual for me because normally I like the really crazy bright colors but with these close shots I really like the the more earth tone colors okay this one is just I love the shape of it I don't think you would call this a cloche necessarily she just says fitted brim and button down. Let's open it up. Yeah, this one makes me think of, I don't know, maybe airline attendant <laughs> back in the day. I don't know what it is about it that makes me think of that. I do love the beautiful pen. She must just have a bunch of vintage pins. I bet you could get them really at like antique stores. I'd love to wear these hats walking into an antique store. How fun would that be? But for this hat, mostly I just really love the profile. I love it from the side. Love it, love it. I tell ya. I'm going to be spending so much money at Kelly's <laughs> Etsy shop because I want to buy all these patterns and I want to make all these hats. Okay, so this one's a little more simple. Um, I'm going to open it up so we can see it a little bit better. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it looks super simple. I'm thinking this looks like maybe front loop only all the way around to make it look like it's, you know, that that V of the uh, top stitch is kind of popped forward. I'm not positive, but that's that's what I'm thinking is maybe how she got that look. But this one's pretty simple looking, um, not super fancy, but then it doesn't have to be, right? I really like it. This almost looks like a hair barrette to me. <laughs> but I love it. I love all of these just little designs that give it such such embellishment. Yeah, I'm looking on the side. It looks like it's just a pin. Yeah, really nice. Really good job. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, is there only one left? There's only one left, you guys. Oh, but look at it. It's so pretty. Let's open it up and take another peek love this bow on the side with this this button or almost looks like a buckle and I just love the the just use of a, maybe a single row of such a big contrast contrasting color to um, I don't know just gives it shape and I don't know I'm not a fashion person so I don't have <laughs> I'm not having a good time coming up with words to describe what I'm trying to say, but I really love the contrast of that one stripe. And look at this side, how it folds over. I love it so much. All right, that was my last hat. <laughs> my last hat in my vintage crochet hat collection on Pinterest. So tell me what you think I would love to hear in the comments below what was your favorite hat and if you can pick a favorite hat I am really impressed <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to put the link to my website um, in the description below and on my website you can uh, see all of my Pinterest boards but I'm also going to put a link to just this Pinterest board as well so if you're not interested in going to the website that's fine you can just go to this particular board and any of these hats you like all you have to do is click on them and that will take you to the link where you can uh, either purchase or find the free pattern all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please click the like and subscribe and even share if you think you uh, have someone else who would like this as well. Uh, until the next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.